transportation in Stockholm. The first one is bus, and we're here in at the bus stop, as you can see. is train. We are about to use train to go into Stockholm City. Whoa! Our train ride into the city took nearly 25 minutes. This was a really good time to think about all the interesting things we might get to see. Maybe it would be an awesome statue in a giant park. Perhaps we could get delicious food in the old town. Or check out the amazing architecture of the city. By the time the train gets to the city, the railway has gone deep underground. The first step to get up to the city is this almost infinite escalator. The central train station was really, really huge. It was amazing how many people were walking through the station from the six different train lines that had come up to the city. Every day, more than 320,000 people go through the station to get to work or visit the city. That's more than three and a half Palmerston Norths all in one day. Another kind of transportation. And that transportation is tram. A tram is sort of like a mixture between a bus and a train. It rides along the road next to cars and buses, but it goes on rails. A tram is used to go to all sorts of places, like parks, museums, possibly even amusement parks. Apart from buses, trams, and trains, there are many other ways you can get around, like paddle boats, regular boats, electric scooters, and a whole lot more. So Nicholas, how are you finding traveling around Stockholm? It's tiring. There's a lot of walking and taking trains and stuff like that. There are so many more ways to get around in Stockholm. You can take a double-decker bus, you can ride your bicycle, and you can even take a boat. What about the electric scooters? Really? Why is there one going behind you? 